The last uh, component of our CF Education Day is breakout groups. Obviously, we don't have them on film because they're small working groups where um, families and caregivers get to interact and often people from the community. A sample of what we had today is we had a, a group working on Social Security. How do you apply for Social Security? Who do you use for resources? How can it be helpful? And what kind of steps have people gone through? Another insurance-related one, we had a group that worked on problems working with your insurance companies. Who to use, the CF Advocacy Line, the 1-800-CF Legal Line, um, with some nice handouts that are going to be posted on the CF website about how to work with your insurance company, um, specialty pharmacies, how to get through the, the um, rigmarole, and some patient and family experiences that have had really good success working with their insurance companies. Uh, the third breakout group we had was on nutrition and basically how to increase calories, when uh, G-tubes are helpful for nighttime feedings, what's the process of getting a G-tube, how does it work, how do you use it, what are the benefits and pitfalls. And that was done by Mary Butine, our nutritionist. The next breakout group was on uh, different nebulizers. Um, there's a lot of new technology in how we deliver inhaled medications and how to analyze that technology and decide what's right for you as a person with CF, what types of technology work and how best to deliver and keep your nebulizers clean and medications. So another breakout group was Charles Hathaway, who's an IV interventionist uh, in the Portland community who places uh, peripherally inserted catheters or PICC lines in outpatients. Um, this therapy is for people who want to do home IV therapy. He discussed not only PICC lines, how they're inserted, how they work, but also the types of uh, mechanisms used to deliver medication, different pumps, uh, permanent catheters that are an option as in ports, and all the different ways to facilitate getting IV therapy at home. And the last group, uh, which I led, was emerging therapies in CF how to get involved, how to be knowledgeable on the new CF uh, medications that are out there, whether it be research studies or new drugs on the market, how to look at that research, how to find out. Um, there are now ways you can sign up to get emails when there's new current research or Facebook connections when there's new research in CF so you can know how to be involved in those studies, what it, what it, what it entails, and how to look and analyze at those studies. All of these breakout groups are different every year. They're small discussion groups, so really led by the people that participate. Um, this year we had a lot of active participation from adult patients and family members of people with CF. We hope to continue this. Um, if you're watching this video and you did not attend CF Education Day, we really want to hear from you why um, the time, the location, the subjects didn't work for you, what would work best for you, to try to find a way to better spread um, our information. All of today was designed by our Family Advisory Board, which is a group of um, volunteer family members and adults with CF that meets monthly on Monday nights, uh, designs the website, and communicates and works on projects both with advocacy, uh, in the legal world with CF and also education for patients and families. So you can go to the advisory board website. There also is a Northern New England CF website um, and cff.org, which has some of the most current information.